Hey there gamers and YouTubers, and welcome to a pretty unexpected review. Um, it's gonna be of the Nintendo 3DS, if you could not tell already. I got the Cosmo Black version just to match all my other hardware and stuff throughout the house. And anyways, just let's get on with the review. Um, I'm not really gonna show off packaging, not much to say. Another big box, like the original DS Lite came in. Uh, came with all this fancy crap. You got the AR games packet, which uh, gives you some preloaded content that's already there. So if you do not have a game, you know, you're not totally out of luck. Um, one thing I do want to know, mention is you get this thick-ass instruction booklet. Look at this thing. This is bigger than any books you guys read at home. It's ridiculous. It's like, I mean, okay, let, let's say this thing in thickness was Iron Man. This thing's the freaking Hulk. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. If I dropped that on my foot, I'd be so pissed because that thing is heavy. So I'm going to plop it over there. And now onto the actual machine. Um, well, hey, it's, it's in its dock right now. This thing uh, hooks up to the charger. It's pretty cool. I don't really see the purpose of it, but as you can see, when you press this in, these things come out to hook into the back of the 3DS here. Right there. They hook in there. And it charges it. I don't see the point of this. I mean, you can hook it right up to the DS, so what does putting it right here do? Does it charge it faster or something? I don't know. I'm not seeing the purpose. So anyways, you flip it open. Get ready for this. Power on. Takes like so long. I mean, this is a portable console, guys. You gotta speed it up. There we go. And that's only because it's been in sleep mode this whole time. It's ridiculous. Um. So yeah, let's tilt it forward a little. Show off the stuff. You got health and safety. You got 3DS sound. You got all this other crap. The camera right here works like crap. It is the most. It's like taking. The, like a flip top cell phone's camera and calling it 3D. It's ridiculous. Um, you got the Nintendo eShop, which is pretty much like the, the eShop on the Wii, except for it's got a lot less stuff and it's a lot worse. The AR games from that packet I showed you earlier. Oh my god. Uh, ah, crap. What'd I press? What'd I press? What? Activating camera. Okay, well, I activated the camera, so I guess we'll see what happens whoa T and none of you guys saw that uh, so I'm gonna get out of here and the stylus um Jesus they put it in the worst possible place they put it all the way back here I mean that's such a dick move who's gonna go back there seriously speaking of dick moves on Nintendo's part let's take a look at the actual layout of buttons you got this, which is going to cramp your thumb. This is actually really good, but this is still a little more precise. Um, check this out. Not A, B, X, Y. X, Y, A, B. Those sons of friggin... Oh, I just want to strangle them. What the fuck? And now I unlocked all this other crap that I don't actually know what it is. It says gifts, gifts, gifts. What the hell did I do? Um, so that... That just occurred. I don't even know what that is. I like free Pokemon. But anyways. Yeah, swap note. No, thank you. Oh, so they are gifts. Anyways. Oh, uh, you got download play, which is if your friend doesn't have a game. Some games, like, will send him the data. It's cool stuff. The activity log. Who looks at that? People with no friends. That's who. More AR games. Face Raiders. Again, there's a little bit of preloaded content. So, yeah, I mean, it's not all bad. But let's just see how this game performs graphically. let us I got Sonic Generations loaded in here, so, whoa. Well, viewers, you guys have, for the first time, seen my face. Cool stuff. Sega, we know the drill. Let's go. Again, these games and the actual console, they take a crap load of time to get going. Let's play a game. No! We don't want to play the game. Those smart little furs. Ugh, okay. I'm not going to turn the 3D on here for two reasons. Uh, 3D gives me freaking bad headaches after like 
two, like an hour and a half of playing. Nothing bad happens up until that point. I mean, just it's after that point where I'm like freaking sick to my stomach. Uh, that, and again, I got to go to a movie later, so I don't want to be like, you know, sick before that. That wouldn't be good. But yeah, so this is the graphics. They're okay. I'll say this much for them, and that is trailers and commercials and video clips of this stuff do not do the game justice. They don't. It looks a lot more vibrant and colorful than... Jesus, I'm pressing B. Uh, than they normally do, so yeah, I'm, I'm saying if you think the graphics are good from the trailers, you will absolutely love them here, and this is horse shit. Oh, ah, sorry, sorry viewers, gotta keep it G-rated, that was upsetting. What the fudge? Anyways... So yeah, graphics are good, but I'm not going to turn the 3D on for the fact that it makes me sick after a while, and keep in mind, it is, uh, it doesn't work on camera, so yeah, it would sort of waste all the effort. But, on that note, I will say this much, the stereoscopic 3D works. It really does, it looks real, it's freaking awesome. So yeah, if I were you and I was even slightly interested in this, I would go out and get it because, I mean, it looks totally realistic. I'm just going to move this up a little closer. So yeah, it, the 3D does work on it, and the name, it lives up to its name. Uh, yeah, again, it can make some people sick. It takes a while for it to get me sick, but it does. So that's what I have to say about the 3D. Graphics are great. I'm seriously considering this to be, like, close to the Wii. Because, I mean, I did used to own one. So, yeah, that's cool. You've got... What I love about Nintendo is that they're not cheap like Microsoft. And check that out. Versus mode. What could that be? It's online for free. And not paid on a monthly gold subscription. Holy crap, who would have thought? So, yeah, free online, which is sort of Nintendo's big catch these days, which is cool. But, again, not much more to say about that. So, yeah, that's the 3DS in a nutshell. And it doesn't include any games unless you get a bundle. So, all you've got is the little downloaded in advance content. And you can make Miis from, like, the Wii days, which are always fun, not really. And you've got these gifts. I don't know where the hell these came from. Um, so, yeah, again, it's, it's sort of limited in what it does. But, overall, I gotta say... The problem with this machine, in my opinion, is A, it's a time killer. You will never actually want to come back and be like, oh my god, I'm going to beat my most intense 3DS game yet. Like, when I was playing Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands on my Xbox, I mean, I was like, holy sh, things are getting real here. I mean, and I wanted to beat that. And Xbox games and, like, console games as a whole, you feel a lot more intense beating them. Here, this is like a time killer if you're in the car on your way to Pennsylvania... And you got a two and a half hour drive, and you're like, holy crap, I'm bored. So that's the sort of time you'd bring this. And that brings me to another point. Battery life sucks when you have the 3D on. It can only go for like two and a half hours. Or not two and a half. I'm, that's being way too harsh. I'm going to say like four, okay? Four hours with everything maxed out. But, you know, on the flip side, I do get sick before the four hour mark hits. So it sort of balances out. Um, so again, yeah, the, the portability part of it is sort of destroyed by the 3D, which sort of destroys the whole point of having a portable gaming system that's advertised as 3D, but you know what, whatever. Final verdict, this machine gets 3 out of 5 stars, being, it's a great piece of hardware, but it has side effects to your health, I'm not going to whine about that too much, but I'm just saying, it, it feels like crap when you're nauseous after. So yeah, it, side effects to your health, uh, graphics are pretty good, but all in all, the games just are not great for it yet. Um, it's got a lot of potential, I'll give it that, but we all know for a fact, Nintendo's going to come out with a new model within like a few months, so I mean, let's get real here. Um, it, again, it's a good time killer, don't get it. If you are, like, a hardcore Xbox fan or something, it's just not going to ever live up to any expectations you've set for it. I do recommend, on a final note, that, again, if you're a fan of Nintendo, you will probably love this. If you're not, or if you're, like, a used-to-be fan like I am, uh, if you got 150, 
laying around and you know you can resell it, then go for it. But I mean, if you don't think you're going to get any money back for it after the initial purchase, just do not get it. It's not worth the risk. Um, so yeah, Nintendo 3DS is fun, but just not quite that fun. So, thank you for watching my review of the 3DS. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe below. And thanks for watching.